take something that's trending and think about how you could improve it, make it part of your own niche and add massive value. This is the Cardi method. The four levels of value. These levels have existed since the beginning of time. Level one is implementation. This is where you use your physical effort to make money. You're trading your time and your muscle for a paycheck. Unfortunately, wealth is a spiritual creation. I'm going to say that again. Wealth is a spiritual creation, not a physical one. And if you're stuck at the implementation level, you're using limited physical resources to try to create unlimited wealth. It just doesn't add up. This level pays you somewhere between minimum wage and $80,000 a year. The challenge here is that your physical capacity is finite. There's only so many hours in a day and only so much energy that you can expend. So no matter how hard you work, there's a limit to what you can achieve achieve if you're only relying on your physical effort. This is why so many photographers feel burned out. They feel frustrated. They're putting in the hours, but they're not seeing the financial growth that they desire. They're essentially in a cycle of trading time for limited income. They're working hourly. If you're one of those photographers that's literally charging by the hour, you're never going to make money. You're in a cycle of trading your life for a limited income, which can be exhausting and disheartening over time. So here's your actionable step. Reflect on your current work situation. Are you primarily trading your time for money by shooting any gig that comes your way? If so, if that's you, how could you shift to projects that offer higher value or a greater return? Identify one skill that you can develop that will help you advance to a higher level of value, such as offering retouching services, or maybe you're an expert at something. Maybe you can teach a workshop on that, or maybe you can learn how to assist another photographer. So you could actually see how someone else uses all four of the levels of value on a photo shoot. Set a goal to invest in learning a new skill that will move you up from the implementation level, such as mastering lighting for high-end commercial photography or learning video production. Learn how to shoot, edit video. Learn how to be in video. That's level one, implementation. Level two is unification unification. At this level, you're managing people who are doing the implementation. You're leveraging your management skills to generate more income than those working directly with their hand. For photographers, this could mean running a studio where you manage a team of assistants or working with other creatives, managing your makeup artist, managing your stylist, your model, your assistant. You could be coordinating shoots, overseeing, editing teams, and generally taking on a role that allows you to earn through the efforts of others. But even at this level, there is a ceiling. You're not free. The ceiling may be higher, but it's still there. You're still trading your time for money although at a higher rate. The stress of managing teams and being accountable for others' productivity can take a toll on your well-being. Even though you may be earning more, you're still bound by the limits of the structure that you've created. So here's some actionable steps if you're in the unification stage. First of all, evaluate your current role. Are you managing other people at your job? Are you a photographer that's managing assistants? How can you make this role more efficient? How can you make this role more efficient? Number two, develop leadership skills that will help you inspire and motivate your team, which is increasing your productivity during shoots and in post-production. Number three, Look for ways to delegate tasks more effectively, such as outsourcing your editing or hiring an assistant so you can focus on the creative aspects that actually bring in higher value, and that's unification. The third level of value is communication. Communication, this is where things get really interesting. You use your mouth to make money. 
I'm doing it right now. Through speaking, through selling, through teaching, through entertaining, or otherwise using your voice to add value. If you master communication, you could make anywhere from $100,000 to millions of dollars per year. Think about the biggest photographers that you know that teach workshops, speak at conferences, or have successful YouTube channels. People who know how to move others with their words. People who know how to move motivate others with their words, people who know how to push words out into the universe and cause other people to act. The key here is influence. Your ability to articulate a message that resonates with other people that allows you to create opportunities that were previously out of reach. The beauty of this level is the impact that you can create at scale. A course that you create can be taken by thousands. A video that you make can be watched globally and your reach and your earning potential are no longer bound by hours in a day. Communication is about mastering the art of influence, understanding what people need, how to connect with them, and how to deliver solutions that matter. So here's some actionable steps for you, the creative, the photographer. Practice your communication skills daily. This could be through writing a blog, this could be speaking on social media, or engaging in conversations with potential clients. Create a piece of content. This is simple. Make a video, a tutorial, a behind the scenes look that delivers value to your target audience and showcases your expertise. Join a public speaking group. Take my 30 day on camera challenge. Start making short videos to sharpen your skills and communication. Start taking short workshops that will help you communicate your value to potential customers. The idea is we're trying to share exactly our value effectively as a photographer. Number four, this is the highest, the highest level of value. The highest level of value is imagination. Here, you use your mind to create value. This is where real wealth is built. People like Elon Musk operate at this level, using their imagination to create things, to create things that the world needs. For a photographer, this could mean creating a unique visual style, building a brand around your art, or developing a concept that resonates with a huge audience. The power of imagination is incredible because it allows you to solve problems at a massive scale. You're not just communicating value, you're creating the very concepts and the solutions that people will communicate and implement. At this level, your ideas have the power to change industries, to shape societies, and redefine what's possible. The return on this type of creativity is exponential because you're not limited to anything except your own vision and your own imagination. Imagination is where true innovation happens. It requires the courage to think differently, to see what others can't possibly see, and to create solutions that have a massive impact. This is where you truly transcend the limitations of time and effort, and where the real magic of wealth creation takes place. So here's your actionable steps as a photographer and an emerging creative. Set aside time for creative thinking. Use that time to brainstorm unique project ideas or identify gaps in the market that you could actually fill. Start a journal where you write down new photography or new content ideas, no matter how big or how small those ideas are. That is gonna help you capture and refine your imaginative thoughts. Take an existing concept. Imagine, take something that's trending in a photography niche that's not yours and think about how you could improve it or innovate it and make it part of your own niche, your own work, and add massive value. We actually have to master 
all of these levels of value. If you stay only in the implementation level, you're gonna struggle financially. The goal here is to flip this around, to have 80% of your energy focused on imagination. 80% of your energy should be focused on imagination. 10% should be focused on communication and the rest on the lower levels unification and implementation. Please watch this video next for even more insights on becoming a successful working pro photographer. Click it now and I'll see you in that one.